small town of Star Valley near Payson. A rare E1 tornado touched down there just after 930 this morning. Wow, winds of up to 105 miles an hour left behind a lot of damage, but the cleanup is really bringing this small community together. Fox 10's Lauren Clark has more tonight. This damage is absolutely heartbreaking. Where I'm standing right now, this just a few hours ago was this family's backyard porch. You can see uh, roof shingles over here and even the satellite TV dish all in the rubble. A lot of people described the sound like a freight train coming into town and they say it also left as quickly as it came. Mark Van Nuren captured the astonishing video Sunday morning. A tornado whirling outside Star Valley. I never saw nothing like that in my life. And John Leslie was outside on his patio when he saw it. We saw shingles, plywood. I mean, it was just turning and turning. The noise to me sounded like what a... Uh, truck is scraping ice off a road and going down the highway at 50 miles an hour and the scrapers on the ground going <laughs> neighbors John Fox senior and his son John jr. were startled by the chaos captured on their cell phones but when you saw it you saw how like life changing because some people went to church and when they come back their whole life was changed just one street up we have very large trees that were knocked over uprooted the tornado ripped through dozens of houses, sucking up roofs, crumpling street signs, and snapping trees like toothpicks. Nobody has been hurt. That's the big blessing right there. Mayor Bobby Davis says families from about nine homes won't be able to return to their house tonight. Despite the devastation, the close-knit community of 2,600 has come together. My understanding is that there's two churches that basically stopped their um, services during the day and told their people to put their boots and Levi's on and come in and help out. Taking care of their neighbors when they need it most. It just amazes me how they've all come together like this. And the mayor tells me that those families of the nine houses that are just completely unlivable right now are going to be living with friends and family and churches are also stepping up to help as well. Here at Fox 10, we will also be sure to keep you all updated about any possible efforts to help them further. Reporting here in Star Valley, Lauren Clark, Fox 10 News.